This is the Transformers Legends LG45 Target Master Hot Rod and LG46 Target Master Cup by Takar Tomy. Uh, I picked up these figures at Our Toys and I'm just so blown away by how they look. Just like in packaging, they look so much like they're, um, well, as, as much as they can get. Uh, uh, movie accurate as they can get and I am I am just loving it the colors just pop the figures look so vibrant but they're still in packaging they'll probably my opinion will probably change once we get them out of packaging here's the box a good look at it uh, basic Takara Tony Legends Transformers packaging all right, since I've already reviewed um, the Hasbro versions of this figure, um, the focus of this review will, will most likely be just a comparison of the Takara Tommy with the Hasbro uh, figures. I will do reviews of the Target Master since they're, they're the new accessories uh, for these sets, and, uh, but it's mostly going to be a comparison uh, review. So let's get these figures out of packaging, shall we? And here they are outside of their packaging, and they look great. Um, we'll, we'll do comparisons later. Each one comes with a nice little booklet with some artwork and a mini comic book. And here's Hot Rod's comic book. Gets an encounter with the with the sweeps or the scourges, and there's always a girl. There's like a girl, the girlfriend of the the Titan Master. Well, actually, in the comic books, the Titan Master is the mech is the same one and they finish the job and somehow she loses her loses her clothes so very nice and standard Takara set of instructions okay. and then cup more artwork design photoshop and again there is a, a cheerleader or the girlfriend of the of Cup, Cup as the Titan Master, and he becomes a mech, transforms a mech. They have an encounter with the uh, Shark Takan, Shark Katron, and somehow the Shark Takan becomes a pet or something like that. All right. Okay. All right. The um, the robots look great. The Titan Masters or the the smaller versions of the robots, they're fantastic. But to me. The best thing about these sets are the Target Masters. They are amazing. Let's start with them. And here they are. Absolutely gorgeous um, robots that are slightly... They're bigger than uh, the Titan Masters or the Head Masters. And they stand about, about an inch and a half. Two inches, my bad. Because the... Headmasters are about an inch and a half. So, very, very cool looking robots. And I actually like, I like both of them. They have great alt modes and great robot modes. This is for Hot Rod and for Hot Rod, and this is for Cup. I like, uh, in robot mode, I like the Hot Rod. Hot Rod is better. Hot Rod's Target Master and uh, Cup, Cup's alt mode, the Target Master, the gun mode of this one is is badass and uh, i like it let's start with hot rod hot rod start very nice kind of reminds me of robotech the cyclone warriors very very cool great articulation ball jointed shoulders uh the neck can swivel if you swivel the waist because of transformation um we'll show you that later i'll show you now so that waist swivel and neck swivel are joined together it's got a hinge hinge hips and ball jointed knees and it's the same for this figure uh, same amount of articulation and that's what i love about takara they they don't make bricks they don't make solid pieces they, they get, try to give it some articulation going to the paint apps i love it um, this one more so than this one but very very nice the gun barrels are sort of molded in that clear smoked plastic this one is more transparent painted silver this is smoked plastic painted silver transform them into gun mode a little bit involved um and they transform the same way put up the uh the gun barrel 
rotate the waist so that the handle comes on. Rotate the knees. Instructions tell you to rotate the knees first before rotating the waist, but uh, I think just to avoid confusion, I think you should rotate the waist first so you don't get confused. Uh, then the waist. That's just me. But you can follow what the instructions say. Tab it in. The arms just stay there. They don't tab in anywhere. And the gun barrel, it locks onto the chest like that. And there is gun mode, which you can mount in alt, in alt mode or in robot. We'll do it for now in alt mode like that. Just to show you. Same thing with cup. You can rotate the feet, the legs first. Fold this up. Rotate the waist, fold the legs, and tab them at the back. And there you go. Cups. Uh, holes are a little bit loose. Uh, yeah. So, very, very cool. Set, this, set those side let's go to the small versions of the robots um, they look great uh, the use of different plastics uh, the face is painted head sculpts looking very very G1 let's compare them with the Hasbro versions um, hot rod <sighs> big big difference look at that unpainted Mm -hmm. This one is so hot rod. Let me show you the Rodimus Prime from the Toys R Us Velocitron set. Very close, very nice. I'm glad they painted. Head sculpts are obviously different. This is a Prime. And that was the first time I noticed it is made of die cast. That whole face and body torso is die cast. I'm really glad I kept this one. I guess we'll see more of him when we go to Power of the Primes. So, yeah. That's Hot Rod. And then Cup. Um, they're okay. Very similar, more than Hot Rod. Unpainted face. This is more of like a Cybertronian guard, as I was mentioning. Or a younger Cup. This is more screen accurate, or the cartoon accurate version, which I really, really like. Okay. All right, on to the actual um, vehicle modes of the figures. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but we'll, we'll put right there. For Hot Rod, uh, I'm getting more of a cartoony vibe with this one. And this one more of a toy vibe. For Cup, this looks more like the toy because of the colors. This looks more like um, the, the character in the movie. And more especially, you will notice that the arms are different. We'll get to that more in Robot. That's the main big difference for Cup. For Hot Rod, it looks to be just exactly the same. Um, paint is obviously different. This is more yellow. The yellow on this one is more cartoon accurate, I think. But the red on this one gives it more of the cartoon vibe. Especially the hood. And as you can see, they've remolded the engine block. This one has a hole to fit that Target Master. And back in the day in G1, there was a Target Master version of Hotrod and there was a non-Target Master version. If I remember correctly. I never had those. I wanted those. Never just never had it so this one is giving me that toy vibe because of the deeper type of purplish red this one is a very bright orangey red paint paint apps the design of the paint apps seems to be very similar and look at that black feet red feet probably more 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 we accurate the rims are painted and the exhaust is just it's not a molded this is a nice glossy gray type of, of molded plastic this one has been painted silver which is really great I'm happy that it should have been chrome to be toy accurate but um, I'm okay with it and it still suffers the same issue with the um, canopy 
not staying on. It has trouble staying on. It's like, unless you really force it down, it's not going to stay on. That's the interior. Very nice. It's got a clear engine block or hood. This one is solid. It's a very, very cool. And obviously the headmasters can fit in there. Hmm. Right. As well as any other Titan Master. Okay. On to Cup. <clears throat> and for my versions, the wheels seem to be assembled correctly. Um, there were reports that they were misassembled, but so far mine look okay. I love the colors on this one. This one's not bad. It's okay. But more, this one gives me that toy vibe. This one gives me that uh, movie vibe, cartoon vibe. The windshield or canopy, this one is almost all clear. No paint apps on it. This one has paint apps. The Autobot symbol there. This one, the Autobot symbol is right here. I wish the Autobot symbol was placed somewhere more smooth or smoother. I kind of tend to agree with this one. But uh, this one should be more accurate. The rims are painted, very nice, but they didn't paint this one, this one is painted, so kudos to Hasbro for that, uh -huh. very nice. Again, uh, you can't fit the Titan Master, which ones we go, oh, sorry. Um, just like the Hasbro version. Okay, um, so there you go, I, it really depends on which one you want. Let's get them in robot mode and see how they fare. And here they are in robot mode. Once again, Hasbro on the left, the Takara Tomy version on the right. Let's start with Hot Rod. Transformation is essentially the same. The main difference really is the chest. The Hasbro version has an extra fold up part right there, the front part of the hood. While the Takara Tomy version has remained true to the toy version, the hood and the lights, they remain there intact. And there is no, there's no, there's no extra hinge to fold this way. It does, however, add an extra hinge right here in the Target Master component, which you can do that to conceal that engine block. Which is great. They can also do that in alt mode. I forgot to mention that, but in alt mode, usually you put the target master on the hood. You want it as accurate to the toy. And as you can see, color wise, I love the colors on this one. It's so much better. Gives you more of that hot rod. Uh, um, the type of orange that it uses this one is more of a yellow orange. This one's more of a tangerine orange. And you get that dark colored gunmetal gray legs. Very, very nice. I absolutely love this one. Obviously, for me, the Takara Tomy version is a much better version than the Hasbro version. And you get it as a Target Master. So, very, very cool. Just love it. But because it does not have that folding piece, there is a gap in the chest. That's probably the only drawback that this figure has. But color-wise, man, unbelievable. I love it. Hantu Cup. If you watch my review for this one, you know my issues about it. It feels like a younger cup, very sort of like a sentinel type of cup, not the old man. This one, Takara Tomy had modified the arms. That's the biggest change uh, for this figure, apart from the head sculpt. Head sculpt has that grumpy looking cup, that old man war veteran cup. Talk to the Dinobots and Wheelie and all that. But the arms, I think, are what did it for me. The arms with those rounded out um, forearms and, and has that armor sort of, which is very true to the cartoon movie. I love it. And that's, that's what really you get it from, more, more than the colors. The colors are great. I think the colors are more screen accurate. Uh, this one's more toy accurate, which is sort of different from what we see with the hot rod being toy accurate and screen accurate, something like that. Um, but I do like what they've done with Cup. The only drawback with that is because it's rounded. It doesn't tap. There is no peg right there. 
that will lock the forearms. And sometimes, if you don't do it properly, the forearms tend to snap out or untab unless you just really tap it in there. That's the only thing. And obviously, you look at the weapons. You get these versus that, this versus that. And I can understand Hasbro not opting for the Target Master. It's more it has to do with cost and price point. But if you ask me, if you're like the hardcore collector of these G1 toys, the insert if, if you can if you can afford it, definitely the import versions, the Takara Tomi versions are the better versions of these molds or these figures. I absolutely love them. Doesn't mean to say I'm gonna get rid of these guys. They're great for playing, displaying, and uh just size comparison. These are gonna go right back to the boxes until I can somehow manage to get my own display cabinet for them but they're just too nice to be left to be exposed to the elements dust and all that amazing amazing job takara tomi hope you enjoyed this little video review this has been the takara tomi transformers legends hot rod and cup target master versions thanks for watching